Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to sort of be an update on the art contest that was announced like a month ago, as well as the giveaway winner and the PD1560 uh, tablet review. So, just as a quick update, I will get to the giveaway stuff here in a second, but as a quick update to the art contest, you have until October 14th to submit your design, so that is three weeks as of this video's upload. Now, I wouldn't wait till the last minute to finish your design, your Kwame design, so I would go ahead and submit that. Now, a lot of you already have submitted that, so if you've already submitted it, then you're all good. And for those of you guys who maybe don't even know what this is, and this is your first time hearing about an art contest, I will leave the, the initial video link down in the description below, as well as anything else that you may need, like links to the Google Forms, and uh, so, yeah, I'd, that'll be helpful, hopefully. So yeah, in three weeks, on October 14th, you need to have your design submitted, and uh, it'll close, well, I guess it'll be 11.59 EST on October 14th. So, what, whatever that time is for you, just make sure that you have it in by the 13th, so that way it doesn't count you off or whatever. Now, I don't know exactly when or how I'm going to be doing uh, the bracket, or um, just like a judging kind of thing. I'll have to do some thinking on that some more and maybe like ask some uh, some of my friends to help out with that. So if you have any like YouTuber people, like I'll probably ask uh, TVC to help with something. I don't know what it will be exactly, but if you have anyone that you think would be interested in helping out, let me know down in the comments and I will try reaching out to them. So yeah, I think that's it for the update on the art contest. Now let's go ahead and get into the giveaway winner. So in order to be entered into the giveaway, all you had to do is on the initial uh, art contest video, all you had to do is write any comment, whatever it is, and you had to have the hashtag giveaway uh, tag, so that way it would make sure that you knew that you were trying to enter in the giveaway. So we're just gonna uh, hit the start button and pick out a random uh, viewer. So let's see who it is. And hopefully, I've never used this website before, so hopefully, uh, yeah, okay, cool. So the winner was Aki, a kid darling, or a Aki darling. Uh, so they said this sounds really cool. I think I'll try it. Hashtag giveaway. So congratulations, you're the winner. So I will find your reply. I don't know. I I, I don't know if I click this. Oh, it'll take me to their YouTube channel. Okay. So uh, I will reach out to you. I will try to find your comment through all the comments and reply to you. And all I'm going to ask that you do is send me an email saying that this is who I am and then we will talk about how I'm going to send it to you. So yeah, make sure you're checking on the comments and everything like that because if no, if you don't respond within, I don't know, like a week or so, then I'm going to pick somebody else and uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll make a video on it, but I'll at least, I'll probably like record myself doing it so that way you guys aren't like, oh, it's rigged or whatever. Uh, so uh, yeah, just make sure you're keeping an eye out on that comment. So now we're going to be getting into the PD1560 review, and this is what uh, Aki Darling won today. So um, here it is. It's it's uh, it's a 15 inch tablet, so it's the it's Galmon's mid mid size. Now I did do a review on the PD156 Pro, which is a bit different from this, and I will illustrate the differences. But Gammon is actually doing a sale on their PD1560, which is this, their PD1161, which is their smallest size, and then the PD2200, uh, which is their largest size, which is actually this one right here. So if you are in the market for a graphics tablet, those sales will probably be beneficial to you because you can pick one up for a cheaper price. Now, this tablet is very similar in specs to a lot of the other ones. So, for example, this one, like all the other tablets that I've reviewed, has 8,192 pressure levels of sensitivity. Now, this one has 10 express keys. And just for comparison, the PD156 Pro only has 9 express keys. That being said, the Pro has the little spinny wheel which if you saw my other review, you will know I love. So that is one drawback I find on this one, is that this one just does not have that little spinny wheel. But if that wheel is not as important to you, or if you just want a more cheaper model, then this one is still a good option because you still get 10 keys, which you can assign to be whatever you want. So you can see I'm in Photoshop here. 
Uh, I, okay, well, that was bad. I'm not a very good artist, as in, like, drawing. I do a lot more, like, photo editing stuff. So, um, yeah, so you can see I'm just using a lot of the assigned keys here. So I'm gonna do, Henry the Stickman is popular for some reason, so I'm gonna do my little, uh, Henry the Stickman, um, drawing. So, here's my Henry, um, yeah. So, hooray, there's my Henry the Stickman. <laughs> Uh, so it's very easy to draw and it's very fluid. I love the display uh, So I think I think if you pick this one up, you will not be disappointed Now another thing that is different from this one as from all the other ones I've reviewed actually is that this one You have to charge the pen the other ones. I've found you don't really have to charge the pen. It's just uh, Doesn't have a battery in it or something. So this one does have to be charged although I will say I do like the design of this one better. Like it, the way, like um, here's the here's a different one. I think this one's for that. Whoops, sorry. That one. Oh, well, you can't see that one. But my other one over there. So this one, you can see it's much more uh, straight and flat. Whereas this one, it's curvy and it has like texture. And so I I don't know. I just like this pen a lot better than the other one. So maybe that's uh, well, that might just be my opinion, or maybe that's a big. A uh, determining factor for if you pick out so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend like looking at all the different pens um, Although I found that like this one is the real oddball pen a lot of the other ones are pretty much the same so uh, Yeah, I do like this pen a lot and the tablet a lot Now one big thing I do want to touch on is the stand in the back so currently I do not have the stand on But it does have a stand. I just did not pull it out because I'm I'm gonna be packaging this back up to send to Aki Darling. So uh, there is a display, although, okay. So it's the, or not a display, there's a stand. Now the display is very similar to this uh, stand, whereas it's, it doesn't have, like you use this lever and it, and it, well, this is difficult. Uh, but anyway, you use this lever and then it sort of just goes down so you can adjust it to a lot of different angles, but It is a hassle. It's not like the PD 156 Pro where it's just like the display is separate You have to actually screw on I keep saying display. I'm sorry stand you have to screw on the stand to this tablet so if you're traveling a lot you might not want this. So if you want a mid-sized tablet, but you're traveling a lot and you want a more like portable stand, then you might want to go for the PD-156 Pro. Although if you do have like a setup like I have and you want a workstation right here, then this is a pretty good option because you're not really going to be traveling a lot. So the stand isn't as big of a deal. Now this tablet also comes with a carrying case, although the carrying case only fits without the stand, so if you're gonna be traveling, you might just forego the stand, and you might wanna just pick up like a, a, a different kind of stand off of Amazon or something. Uh, but I, I honestly, I think I prefer working just like directly on the desktop without the stand, but that's just me probably. So um, yeah, that's not that big of a deal for me. But at least you can detach the stand. This one, I don't think you can detach the stand at all. So uh, this one's definitely a permanent desk uh, kind of display. So I think the biggest determining factor, if you're looking for a mid-sized tablet between the PD-1560 and the PD-1560 Pro, is if you're just traveling a lot. If you are trying to travel and you want more portability, then I would probably go for the PD-1560 Pro because Again, that one doesn't have a built-in stand. So if you still want to stand it, it, it comes separate, but it's still a portable stand. But if you're just staying at home, this PD-1560 is a pretty good option. Now again, this is the mid-sized, it's a 15 inch tablet. If you want a large size, they do have a 21.5 inch and that's the PD-2200. So if you want a larger size, but again, this sort of like, is a desk like you need a desk setup for this one so this one's definitely more for professionals i would say and then they've got like the starter one the small one so uh all the links if you want to check these out are down in the description below and uh, again they're doing a sale big sale time so if you want a tablet now is a good time to get one now here's some additional specs for you if you want like some more specific stuff on this tablet 
But yeah, I just want to thank Yaman for uh, allowing me to give a tablet out to you guys. Uh, so thanks so much, Gaumon, for allowing me to give back to my fans. Aki Darling, I hope that you enjoy this tablet as long as everything works out and I can actually send it to you. Uh, hopefully, if you are in another country outside of the US, I can still send it. Uh, but again, that's I will we will uh, discuss that through email. And I also will include uh, a little note written by me for you. So if you have anything that you want me to write on that note, uh, let me know down in the comments of this video and I'll find it or something or you could put it in, in the email or reply in the other comment So yeah, whatever you want, whatever we, you want. We'll see But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video If you did enjoy you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this remember October 14th That's the deadline make sure you get it in by then Because if you don't you're gonna miss out on the art contest and you'll have to participate in the next one Whatever that may be. And I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we'll find out. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>